Alright, hey guys and girls, welcome back to my Slim Fast Diet video. Uh, this is a day 290 video log. Four, no, 585 now, 585, 585 episodes into my video log. Yeah, so 585 videos. This is my Slim Fast one for my breakfast video. I'm just doing dinner right now as well, so you have to bear with me. But um, this morning, um, I had my uh, Slim Fast. Just peeling off all this skin. Ugh. I don't like leaving like the skin around it, so I just try and chop it all off. So it's like I take off the one layer of uh, things because basically the skins underneath of the onions which I'm cutting up. Yeah, so I had a slim fast this morning, well, this afternoon for breakfast. Um, and I always have that every morning now. Um, Out. So I can do my mum some mashed potato. But uh, yeah, I mean, slim fast um, is good for you. Or you can make your own sort of like protein shakes, or your own sort of like um, smoothies and all that. Still good though. Still good. Make sure that there's proper, like, either vegetables mixed in. I mean, to be honest, if I was going to make a smoothie, if I've got one of these, like, smoothie makers, I would make, probably, put some um, beetroots in there, chop them up with the juice, put at least a couple of them in there, some big beetroots. Some, like, proper ones. And then... That'd be for the juice as well, just to extract all the juice when it's all chopped up. And then... We should be, like, putting carrots in there. we put some carrots, we put some uh, oranges in there. Oh, not oranges, because that's got acidic acids in there. I'd probably go some a light bit, I don't know, some... Mm, what could we put in there? Uh, probably some bananas, maybe. Got some good potassium in it, so that'd be that'd be some good shit. Bananas. Make a full like a full Escalade of them. Yeah, put loads of vegetables. I could probably what I could do is get a smoothie maker and then put all this in and just chop it all up. And that's all my vegetables in sort of a drink. That'd be quite cool. Alright, um, so I'm just getting my dinner ready, but I need to just chop up a few of these onions so I can put them on the top. But if, um, for um, Slim Fast, if I drink slim fast myself like I am now right then eventually I uh, someone said oh you won't be on it forever and all that unless you're planning on staying it on forever um, which I probably will at some point I'll probably get off it at some point maybe about a year and a half two years down the line I want to stay on it for now see how well it's doing and then replace it with other drinks start making my own like homemade sort of uh, replacements I 
I mean, back before, Slim Fast for me was only the sort of like um, a deterrent for me to stop me from getting bigger and all that, stop me getting fat and all that. But it's like a lifestyle now, it's like I've really changed my lifestyle around a lot. So it's more about me keeping into my calories and not uh, eating like overindulgence and all that. But to me, I mean, if any of you guys and girls are in doing like slim fast as well, let us know in the comments, see how you're doing as well. Right? Um, and if you've got a YouTube channel and you've been put on there, uh, tell me and I'll come and have a look and check it all out. Because I like, uh, I, uh, before I did my um, uh, slim fast videos, um, last year, back in December, around about November and October, I was watching videos of people actually doing the slim fast. So I, was, I actually subscribed to a couple of you, your channels out there as well. Ones who've actually uploaded them, so it's, um, it was quite a kind of a good experience. It got me into it, motivated. Why it got me to so basically, in a way, when we say, um, when I say about people, uh, we don't have like free wills and all that. Well, that's the point. We don't have a free will because if we did then we won't be like literally copying other people. It's like basically it's like um like a friend of mine was uh, saying ages ago um it's called the domino effect and basically when you push the one domino over the others uh tumble and they fall to um the same direction. So they're pushing each other in that direction, technically. They call it the domino effect. If you guys and girls are into this sort of like um, free will, no free will things, let us know what you think as well about it. I'd like to hear you guys out there. And girls, of course. And... Oh, I can have a lot of onions on chopping up there. Yeah? I like them raw to be honest, onions raw, because when um, if you fry them, you can get a lot of carbs, uh, high carbs and all that fats on there, the bad fats. So I don't like, I just like eating them as they are, but chopping them up. Done two chopped up um, onions, which are going to go onto my plate. Then I'm going to put my baked beans on there. Well, my baked beans are already on there. But yeah, um, Fucking hell, that is strong. Alright, put that on for a minute. The tap. That's a good little trick. If you've got like the tap on running, um, it helps a little bit. Uh, just clears up the smoke and all that. So, yeah, anyway, if you like this video, guys and girls, do subscribe, do like, favourite and all that, and cheers off watching this one, and I'll get on the next one.